It's time for the Gizwiz with Mad's Maddest Rider, Dick D. Bartolo. This is episode 1718, recorded Thursday, March 14th, 2019. Faux phone. This episode of the Gizwiz, we got three gadgets that you may or may not have heard about. I have another useless and stupid gadget in my crappy corner, and believe me, you're gonna love it. And a viewer video, all next on the Gizwiz! It's the same dumb show with Dickie D and OMG chat on your PC. It's time for the Gizwiz because gadgets are his business. They've got a gizmo sickness, geek disease, under pathology, rows and rows of USBs, growing blue and LEDs. Get ready for the Gizwiz now. Now! Now! And here he is, our artist extraordinaire of gadgets, Dick D. Bartolo. How you doing, Dickie D? Uh, I'm doing really good, and you, sir? Doing good myself. We are um, getting ready for a little bit of a break next week. Or at least I am. Uh, yes, you're go <clears throat> going to Disney World, right? Disney World. Very excited. Oh, my goodness. Yeah. And um, we're doing something unique tonight. We're doing uh, two shows at one time. Yeah, exactly. Uh, so yeah, we're doing one, this, uh, one on your left channel. Every other second uh, will yeah. be one That's show. That's it. And so you'll get half of it one week and the next half the next. Yeah. Should work out great. It's going to be excellent. It's oh, their chat excellent. room is saying that's not how two in one night works. Oh. Hmm. We may have to oh. replan that one, Dickie D. Oh, okay. <clears throat> oh, okay. I, I guess I, we'll I'm just gonna... record one first and the second one <laughs> after. Oh, my God. Be the boring. old way. The old-fashioned way. <sighs> okay. I don't know. Okay. Uh, so then, yeah, that's, uh, uh, we're recording two episodes today. It should be a, a fun, uh, fun thing. You'll see that if you're subscribed, then you'll catch the next one next week. Um, but yeah, off to, off to Disney World for me. Looking forward to it. Um, this is, for me, it's, uh, it's kind of the, I do, a, you know, all the charity work throughout the year. And this is kind of the give back. The Children's Miracle Network of Hospitals kind of partners with Disney. And so they have a big... Uh, charity convention basically in Disney, and so I get to go to Disney. Which is kind oh, of I, I love it down there. Oh my oh, yeah. gosh! Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, I, I already have I plans to go to the um, the 50s diner in um, I forget the name of it. Oh my gosh, I'm, I'm blanking on the name. Um, for lunch one day, and then uh, I want to go to do you know Be Our Guest? Be Our Guest is the um. Uh, what is it? Uh, that, that Beauty and the so Beast. Um, oh, yes, yes, yes. Uh, anyway, they have a restaurant there. I haven't been there yet, so I'm going to eat breakfast there. Very oh, excited. my gosh. Very excited. So, yeah. Yeah. They used to have something called the Discover Awards, and uh, oh, yeah. they would send me down every year, or, yeah, and totally every year it put us up someplace different. I, I just love that place. It's so well run, and so everything is so clever. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I mean, that's the, uh, anything that I absolutely adore is all in the details. And Disney just does details so well. Just so well. Yeah. Um, and then also, I mean, I can't imagine how, how do you staff that many friendly employees? Like, how does that, <laughs> how does that work? Like, how do you find that many friendly people on Earth? And just I know. have them all be it, in it, Florida. It's just it, weird. Yeah, it's um, a right. It's a right. No, you're right. I, because one year we stayed at the uh, the yacht club or something, mm -hmm. and even the towel racks have like anchors at the end of them. Yeah, uh, you know where you would expect. You know why don't we just throw in a buck towel rack that we got at the dollar store? No, everything is. It's, yeah, it's, it's. I love. Perfect. It. I just yeah. love that place. Yeah, Prime now Time Cafe. Regatta is reminding me. Prime Time Cafe, the '50s diner. In Hollywood Studios, I have a lunch reservation. Oh, for that. great! And that's the other thing is on a tech angle. Oh my God, Disney is ahead of the game. They have their uh, the new Magic Bands. Uh, Magic Bands 2.0 came out a few years ago, but still, Magic Bands are uh, way ahead of their time. Uh, you put all your cash on there, your credit card on there. Um, you can reserve food, fast passes all through their app. I mean, they are like technologically advanced it's been incredible to uh to go through that process it's they're they're ahead of the game for sure yeah no no 
I love it. I love it too. Uh, well, so should we do this piece of work? So yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay, so I have three gadgets. One you know about only because I said I bought it, but today you'll see it actually work. And the other two you may not know about, uh, like this one, for example. In addition to LED lights, I also like fireplaces. Ooh. This is my Charm Glow fireplace. And it's a fake fireplace. It actually puts off heat, but the flames are fake. This is one of the best. And this is another fireplace, a smaller one. This one actually is pretty realistic, too. I think this was called like Ember Bright or something. It's very, very old. But again, the flame is pretty realistic. And both of them have electric heaters in them, so they act as fireplace. So when I got an ad for the antique LED fireplace lantern, oh, I thought I've got to have one of those. And it's from that world famous company, iZoom. Oh, oh yes. I've <laughs> I haven't heard of them either. Heard of them uh, at least so zero times before. <laughs> bum, 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 bum. Now I can tell you, this is not gonna be a fireplace also. Because it says on the side, uses three AA batteries. Um, bum, 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 It'd be a very bum. quick heater. Yes. All right. Kind of cute. And, and just to show you, I looked online and I said, fireplace lantern. So I Googled it. It seems like, who knew this was a thing? Yeah. It's All about kinds as... of fireplace lanterns. It looks like the graveyard keeper's um, lantern. Yes, it does I zoomed yeah. Uh, okay, so it's three AA batteries. It actually comes with, you know, some dreadful brand of battery. So uh, I always put new batteries uh, when I do. Well, that is the uh, I empty. And I even brand. test them. Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! That's good. Uh, that guy's good. He's a Rayovax. People often say, what kind of batteries do you use? And I go, cheapest, cheapest alkaline. You know, never buy those, what are they, carbon batteries? Uh, all right, so fortunately, this battery compartment does not require a screwdriver. I think it's uh, kids' toys all require that the battery compartment uh, be screwed closed. Okay. But, um... Uh, let me see. <laughs> is there an on-off switch? Uh, it doesn't look yeah. like it down there. Oh, this is good. You can have it on and off or a six-hour timer switch. All right. Itchy, so, bitty, bitty I guess switch. if you wanted to go to sleep with it for six hours. Um, ta -da, are you ready? <laughs> How realistic is this? I guess it doesn't matter. What, this is one tiny tiny switch save money on the switch make it itty bitty uh that doesn't look bad oh yeah that looks kind of cool how's it look in the camera looks good look okay yeah okay all right so now let me look oh you know what i think that's pretty neat so let us let me tell you look at these prices 15 bucks uh, 15 bucks over on eBay, 22 bucks pulse TV. That's where I bought mine. Uh, eight bucks, seven ninety nine, And, uh, I bought two of them and two of them were 14 98, but pulse charges $7 shipping. 14 98, 15, 20. So they came to 11 bucks each. Um, I think it's pretty neat. And, you know, when the lights are dim, like in the bedroom, I think this looks pretty neat. The antique LED fireplace lantern. Ooh, it's hot. Uh, no, it's not because it's LED. Uh, you know, as I look at this, I think, is this where the Gizwiz is going to spend all of <laughs> eternity? Ooh. That would be a fitting end, an LED <laughs> fireplace. Uh, 
<laughs> yeah, when you get down to hell, and, yeah. and uh, uh, the, the the devil says, "Do you have your pre- do you have your bracelet? Do you do you have your bracelet?" <laughs> yeah, where's so your you, magic band? Where's check your... in, check in. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I go. We Ooh, have, uh, are these LEDs? Oh. Oh, yeah. <laughs> to make it more efficient, a few years ago, oh, we got yeah, rid of no, all you the... know how much coal we used to yeah. use? Oh, Brimstone is fuel. so expensive nowadays. LEDs Hell are where it's at. Hell has an almost zero carbon footprint. <laughs> it's new. I like it. Anyway, uh, so yeah. Pulse TV, who knew? That's the that's the place. Yeah, Pulse get... TV, it's one of those deal of the day things, and they, they still have these. Uh, um, I think it's really a, a decent deal. It's seven ninety nine or two for fourteen ninety five. And now they say I, I don't know where they got this from that it's wa- weather resistant. I think it's just a piece of plastic. Um, it says you can hang it outside. Just don't dunk it in water. Um, it's weather but- resistant for two seconds. <laughs> as long as water doesn't get into it, it's w- yeah. Weather oh my gosh! If you get Four of them, it's thirty dollars. So oh, wow. it really makes them cheap. Yeah, I see. The one thing, <clears throat> the one feature, they they almost did a half measure with their feature of the six hour timer. I used to have a Christmas wreath that did a six hour timer, but it it did the other uh, what is it twenty uh, eighteen hours. Um, off and then it would turn on again. So you could, if you oh, got wow. the timing right and you turned it on uh, right as it was dusk, then it would auto turn on for, for six hours and then turn off and then turn back on at the same time 24 wow. hours later. Um, wow. So I almost kind of wish you know they had done something like that because that would be neat is time to go to bed, it turns itself on, then it turns itself off and 24 hours it does the same thing. Should be nice. But uh, there you go. It's inexpensive, pretty cool. I could also see pretty this being cool. used as a almost a, as a Halloween prop. You know. Oh, anyway. that's a great idea. You know, that's a cool. great. Actually, I should order a couple more to have out in the backyard. Yeah, yeah, that'd be neat. Be excellent. Yeah, the man, yeah, that's a perfect uh, time to use it. Is is at a party, turn it on for six hours. Once, once the lanterns go off, uh, out, out of the house. Party's <laughs> over. It's like a six-hour party. That's oh, you know what I, I did one year when Dennis and I first met is uh, I had a, a, a lit pumpkin in the backyard. Mm-hmm. And Dennis didn't know the lad of the apartment. And so he was looking out in the yard and he goes, oh, the pumpkin looks great out there. And I said, you know, I just want to get something. So I came out of my apartment and I ran down the cellar and I can get into my backyard through the cellar. So I moved the pumpkin four feet closer in. (laughs) And then I came back up and walked in and said, I just went to get the mail. And I said, do you really like that pumpkin? And he he said, uh, (laughs) yeah, it's bigger, isn't it? Anyway, and then I did it the third time and had it like just four feet from the door. And he goes, oh, my God. He said, Dick, this pumpkin is like right outside your door. I said, Dennis, <laughs> this is how like, could I, that? I need to go to the hospital. I'm seeing things. <laughs> how could that possibly be? It's pretty funny. I said, well, it must be something haunted anyway. Yeah. Spooky. He knows better now. Yeah. Now, yeah. Yeah. Now he's on to you. He, he's on to me. Yeah. Anything um, tricky. All right. So here's a gadget you do know about but you don't know how it works. Okay. I'm not jealous of Chad anymore because there's now a five below wow. in Manhattan oh, yes. on Fifth we knew Avenue. This. It should be called five below below because you enter on Fifth Avenue and then immediately go down this long escalator. So five below is actually below Fifth Avenue, but you do enter on Fifth Avenue. Oh, so Dennis and I stopped by. We didn't weren't going to buy anything in particular, so we just spent fifty dollars. This is my favorite. Oh, I hope it's got to be my favorite. It's the five below mirrored wall LED fountain. Let's look here on the website. Promote relaxation with tabletop water fountain. The mirrored wall LED fountain lights up and reflects the running water. Oh, for double the ambience. (laughs) Now how much would you pay? I'm getting twice the ambience. Perfect chill decor for your 
desk or tabletop. Uh, runs on batteries or it can be plugged in. Operates with adapter, not included, or two AA batteries, not included. Okay. So, dun 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 dun. All right. Oh my gosh. Mm -hmm. We're just gonna wing this. I cannot, even with my reading list, I can't read that. I think that's where they tell you so, ambience is a mathematically uh, measurable. Ooh. <laughs> wow. Well, <laughs> the phone broke. Let's hope the fountain didn't. All right. Those are the stones. They're oval. If they were round, they would be the Rolling Stones. Okay. Wow. Okay. All right. And there's where, if you had a power adapter, it would go there. And since we don't, battery compartment. Again, no screw. Oh, I like this. The door the is hinged. Uh, I wish everybody I would do that. I'm so tired of losing those little doors. All right. I yeah. agree. This is going to be simple. And then that. And then that. Oh, I guess we're going to have to. Gee, gosh. Carefully remove the product. And I think we're at uh, like you, you look at that. Point two ambience right I'm now. I don't know. <laughs> yes, exactly. Right now you just no, use I it to straighten your tie. Yeah. Uh, all right. So these are. Uh, we're getting. We're getting. Where do they go? You're getting ambience, almost ready. Almost ambience ready. is, is just expanding. Everywhere. Oh, yeah. Look at the picture. At okay. least point five oh, ambience. It's supposed to be everywhere. <laughs> Thank you. Enough stones. Get them out of the fountain. They're the not fountain. supposed to be in the fountain. No, they don't go in the fountain. Okay. Around the fountain. Okay. This is good. And then there's a picture here. Pour water down the side. Uh, fill. <laughs> God, I cannot read this. The reservoir. Uh, I think it's in Japanese. We'll just it does look like a guillotine. You know what? I'm just going to see if it goes on. Uh, before I put water in. Ah! Ooh, okay. we're at one ambience! One, one, one X yeah, ambience! Yeah, just on and off. I, guess I was you hoping you could select, select the colors, colors. you want. Yeah. Uh, I hope I'm not ruining this. <laughs> Famous <laughs> last words. <laughs> Do not pour oh, he water. Says, Do not pour water directly on the LED light. <laughs> I hope it doesn't say that. Ah, oh my two goodness! X, two X ambience. Oh my gosh! <laughs> Way oh better. Oh my goodness! Let me turn it toward me for a minute. I need to relax. I like this. Holy! I have cow. to go to the bathroom now. <laughs> that, that is oh, so I guess thing. the light. Oh. We think alike. Oh, I, oh, oh, oh my, I, I'm getting so relaxed. Oh. Makes you want to pee. Oh, <laughs> I'm so relaxed. But then it's not for the whole camera, so he can go pee. Oh, my goodness. Is my missing one? I don't, how many streams is both? Oh, this has more streams in the, in the picture. So I'm going to put a little more. Oh, there's an ice cream. <laughs> All right, I'm going to put a touch more wood, I guess. No, I guess there's just... It looks like one stream is missing. Yeah. You can just go grab rocks off the streets. And just think yeah, you know, you're stream. actually right. No, it's not missing. It's just at an angle. It's at an angle. All right, I'm going to turn it toward me for one minute so I can get relaxed. I think that's really neat. And five below. You know, actually, why do they call it five below when this was $5? <laughs> Shouldn't this be four ninety nine? Huh? Five dollars. So, the sh the, actually, it should be called five even. All right, but uh, that's it. It is it's called five, five below's LED fountain, and oh, out of stock. 
So it's out of stock online, but if you have a five below near you, you uh, should be able to get one. Uh, there were tons of them when we bought this. Also, I checked so and it's back. I, they have 35 I in stock. I certainly think this nice. is worth five bucks. Dick D. Bartolo, the Gizwiz. Ah, oh, God, so relaxed. Watch, uh, tune in uh, another time. <laughs> it works. I love it. I love it. it the mirror works. LED wall <laughs> It's a dollar per stream. <laughs> uh, uh, you know, uh, when, when the video started, I just saw something go by, and it looked like on Alibaba, oh. the the lantern was $15, the uh, fireplace lantern. What? So it looks like... W- you got something, a deal. We got something cheaper than yeah. uh, Alibaba. Maybe they don't have it over there and they just buy them at uh, <laughs> Pulse TV and mock them up. Exactly. There's, there's, there's probably so many middlemen in, in oh on Alibaba. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. But it's that's pretty, pretty good. It's pretty neat, it. isn't it? Yeah. I, I, I really did. I think that that's a cute little thing. Uh, I could easily see that on a desk at work. I had a, uh, like a reception area, um, just sitting, you know, at the entry to your home. I could, I could really now see the, this being used. Yeah. The problem was I left it on while I went out to dinner and when I came back, it was almost dead. Oh, but the bad I left, I left it on over I didn't leave it on. I mean, I had it off overnight and now it seems to have some life in it again. Uh, but since you're driving a motor, the little pump and the LED, I assume it's going to go through batteries a little faster. Yeah. <clears throat> and also Dennis was using his fireplace lantern a lot and was going through batteries. And that's when I remembered something from when I was a kid and I found a new version of it, which is our next video. Ah, uh-huh. Okay. Here it is. All right, you remember a short time ago, I did the antique uh, LED fireplace lantern. I bought two. I gave one to Dennis, and uh, I kept one. Turns out Dennis loves his and said that he pretty much lays it on all the time and is really going through a lot of batteries. Even though it's LED, I guess if you leave it on a long time, um, does eat batteries. So I went searching for the double A battery converter ah. to convert battery operated devices to AC. All right. And this should be fairly simple. I had something from Radio Shack years ago, uh, but it was not like this. So let's, um, all right. All right, so this is what, so this is what it looks like. So basically you have three fake plastic LED batteries. And then if the lantern's dumb enough, it thinks they're real and it just stays on. No, that's not the way it works. <laughs> all right, so. It's a perpetual motion machine. <laughs> yes, so exactly. Gotta, you just I say in a loud voice, I'm putting in new so batteries. So we can have a, a reveal. Uh, so we take out the three. Uh, ray of X. And so now you put two dummy batteries in, okay? Now, I assume One, that there's a, just a single two. wire in there, so it completes the circuit. Oh, you know what? This has a yeah. cord on it. Oh, uh, well, let's see how that... You might have to work. keep the... Uh, All right, so the, base this battery off. is actually what's going to power the lantern. This battery puts out 4.5 volts, which is the equivalent of the three batteries. So... What if we can just squish this? Actually, I guess they knew about that. This is a really flat wire. Can you see yeah, that? Yeah, that's nice. So it, it might be possible for the door to close 
with that in it. Let me put that over there. Oh! Aha! Uh, Eureka! Uh, da, da, um, da. Now, now how much? Now did you this, pay? since LEDs can burn for thousands of hours, probably tens of thousands of hours. I'm not sure. I think like twenty-five thousand hours. Um, you should be able to leave this on forever. So if uh, I'm going to get one, and I'm going to do the same. So when I die, <laughs> I was going to say I could have this on my tombstone burning, but I'm it'll be, be your cremated. eternal flame. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> if there was an AC uh, outlet in the Hudson River, we could do it. All right. So I'm going to plug this in, and now. Have we made this an AC lantern? Da, 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 God, da, that switch da, is so da, stupid da, da, on the bottom. <laughs> <laughs> Hearing you complain about gadgets needs to be its own podcast. Come on. Yes. Oh! Mm -hmm. It works! It's not on fire. I mean, it is on fire, but it's it not. Is it a touch fire. You know, I, I guess there's a it's little a motor in there, too. All right, so right? now, I guess. no more batteries. Yeah, to generate this is now running some waving motion. on AC. And there, you get four of these dummy batteries uh, in a pack. You get three dummies and the working one. This is what that thing cost. I bought it on Amazon. Uh, the only one I could, f the, I only found one on Amazon, and it was not Prime. It's called Everlasting Glow AA Battery Converter. And it was, what, about $15. It was $10.19 uh, $10 for $49 shipping. And they also make a triple A version. But I think this is really neat. That's a great way to uh, take something that's eating a lot of batteries and for, what was it, about 16 bucks, convert it to uh, AC power. I like it. Uh, the Gizwiz, with his everlasting antique fireplace lantern. I like that. I really do, because... The I can't tell you how many times it's like, oh, it comes. You could get an AC adapter, plug it in the wall. I, uh, I've figured out a lot of things in this world. I have not figured out how to buy the correct AC adapter with the correct <laughs> polarization and the the yes. right size of the thing, the right length and right width. It, those things are so complicated. So this, you just pop out the batteries, pop in these fake ones, and it works. So You know what? I'm I just really thinking like of something, you know, Chad. They give you four, three dummy batteries in this one. So if, But if you put it in the gadget that took four batteries, isn't that gadget expecting six volts? Yeah, I have, I don't, I guess. Like, that's what I was wondering when you were like, ah, oh, this is a four point. Yeah, it just turned like, out that the thing I have, Takes worked. four and a half volts. Yeah. And there's only room for three batteries. It worked out perfect. Because I was wondering at first if there was I a thought, switch anywhere that would like, oh, nothing. I only put in two or something. And I was thinking, I can I put it in the waterfall? Yeah. Because the waterfall only takes, takes two, two batteries. Yeah. So this is expecting three volts. If I put in the one dummy and the one four and a half volt, I might have Niagara Falls. I might have water splashing. <laughs> yeah, so I'm not quite sure know. how that works. Me neither. What, it's, can an electrician uh, write a letter? <laughs> yes, yes. Please? Uh, anybody in the chat room who can figure it out for us, would you email us and we'll read your uh, letter on uh, an upcoming Gizwe show? Yeah. It's very well reviewed on Am reviewed on Amazon. There is one person that had an LED issue, which is interesting because you didn't, and yours is LED powered. No, uh, but no. The, the LEDs LED flicker flicks. to the point of looking like a go-go bar lights, and they say that I wonder if he had one in backwards or something. Yeah, I'm not sure. Or it could be that you know different types of LEDs, different types of boards, oh, different that types could of be. situations. Uh, some cause flicker, some don't. Yeah. Um, so I, you know, I, I think that it, uh, uh, m maybe some trial and error a little bit. It could there. be. Anyway, uh, I had great luck with, uh, yeah. Dennis's lantern and then, uh, I bought two of them. I, I did my lantern too. So. 
Awesome. As you said, it's an easy way to do it. I like it. I, I actually really do like that. And if uh, uh, at the moment I can't think of anything that is battery powered that I want to have powered all the time that I don't have the AC thing for. Um, so, uh, but I'll keep that in mind for the future. Someone in the chat room, when I said you get three dummies and one live one, they said, oh, it's like the people in the chat room. <laughs> yeah. We didn't say that. We're just repeating. Exactly. If it was two uh, dummies, it'd be the Gizwiz. <laughs> That's right. There That's you go. Right. And speaking of the Gizwiz, uh, and your topic is stupid and pointless you know, gadgets. You know, in chat. Who? Preppy Corner. Get it. I like this one. This one, I've been looking forward to telling you all about this. So you got a problem, Dickie D. Yeah, We're on our phones. Yeah. We're just on our phones too much. You can't connect with anybody anymore. You're always on your phone at the dinner, at the theater. You're always on your phone. You got to get off your phone. But a hammer? <laughs> Close. Well, yeah, maybe. Okay. But you have another problem. If you use the hammer yeah. method, another thing pops up. FOMO. Fear of missing out. You, oh. you have to be connected. You got to act like you're on your phone when you're not actually on your phone. Okay? So enter in, that's right, the no phone. This is not a phone but it kind of looks like a phone. Let's go ahead and I oh, left it no in, the, phone. Okay. in the packaging here. It's a fake phone for people who are addicted to phones. You can see that right there. Zero gigabytes. Wow. It says no headphone jack. It doesn't have <laughs> Wi-Fi and it also doesn't have a camera. No phone original with a thin light and completely wireless design. The no phone acts as a surrogate to any smartphone device, enabling you to always have a rectangle of smooth, cold plastic to clutch without <laughs> foregoing any potential engagement with your direct environment. So you, it's basically a, a fake phone. If I could, uh-oh. Does no, it come it, with a fake data plan? Yes, in fact, it's oh, okay, the best good. price. It's free. <laughs> Oh, um, oh, wow. It should come with a fake contract and stuff and send you <laughs> fake bills in the mail, but... Okay, this is a, a little bit more complicated to open than I originally anticipated. How did... <laughs> Maybe that's the joke. Is there we go. The, oh, here we go. You never can get it open. Oh, there you go. Okay. Ah, there we go. Okay, here we go. I'm I'm excited. Oh, I got I got the no phone out and I got some instructions. Um, what is the no phone? The no phone is a technology free alternative to constant hand to phone contact that helps you stay connected to the real world. Um, on a date, hold the no phone. Look at the date. In the movie theater, hold the no phone. Watch the movie. At a concert, hold the no phone, but look at the band. Everywhere else, hold the no phone and live life. So, uh, just taking a look at this thing. It's just a piece of plastic. <laughs> <laughs> it has a little cutout for a little fake camera, although it's just oh, okay, a piece of plastic. Okay. It, has a, it has a headphone grill. Fake speaker. Fake right. speaker. Fake home button. It's just a piece of plastic. Let's <laughs> <laughs> see. So, what do you think? You think this solves world issues? Oh, look, there's even a fake... Uh, Fake volume up and down rockers. Oh my and goodness, and a, a fake card slot. Oh, yeah, fake USB. And a, and a fake uh, a silent uh, feature. Fake, fake uh, lock unlock button. <laughs> I think this is, this is probably the most secure device in the world. Oh, Nobody. you know what? I, I bet you're absolutely right. Nobody's stealing your Pack data. this. It has Pack iOS Andro and Android. <laughs> there you go. It's indestructible unless if you destruct it uh so really the joke's on me because how much would you pay uh three dollars what is it wait is it from five or below it's not so here oh, let okay. me um i i may i may uh, show all right, the price five below I'm, would be two dollars i hope you didn't pay more than five 
Uh, well, I you I got got. First, let me oh. show off the off the website. Here's here's the no phone. Look, they were even on Shark Tank. Oh what? They're on Shark Tank. That's right. You know it's real. And then there's the price. What? Twelve bucks. Look, it used to be. It used to be thirty-seven thousand dollars. Now oh, it's only twelve dollars. Well. There you go. Uh, it's <laughs> completely toilet bowl resistant. <laughs> Listen, this is the first waterproof phone up to the Mariana Trench uh, yeah. depth levels. Um, it's available on Amazon Prime. They even gave a TEDx talk about it, so oh you know it's got to be real. God. They even sell a selfie version. With a mirror embedded, oh, I assume. That, oh my God! <laughs> so I wonder if they got a did did someone on Shark Tank buy into it? Do you know? I have no idea. Here, let's hit, click learn more. Anybody back them? I don't uh, know. No. Uh, doesn't I don't I don't think so. I, it looks no, like no. everybody's saying, "Yeah, get, get out well, of here." Well, they made well, well. Let's put it this way: we know they made twelve dollars. <laughs> exactly. At least they have a few different uh, versions. They have the No Phone, and then they have the No Phone Air. The No Phone Air is spectacular because it is the smallest and lightest device. You can see it oh, right there. Wow. There's a nice photo of it. Do they actually sell an empty envelope for six? Yeah, they do for six bucks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This oh, is why we're not God. millionaires, Dicky D, because. We didn't think of this. And I bought this thing for 15 bucks, actually, because uh, I didn't realize that it was $12 on their website. And I did the uh, Amazon Prime thing. And I think it's $15 over there. Where is it? Oh, four, yeah, 15 This is what oh I bought. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, and look at it. got great reviews. Wonderful reviews. 34 people bought the No Phone. Yeah. And, okay. Uh-huh. So there you go. That's my useless and stupid gadget. It doesn't get any more useless and stupid than that. Maybe said bought it's the pet rock of technology. A piece of plastic. It's not even oh. that greatly molded. I can kind of see some weird yeah. molding issues. This thing probably cost them 30 cents to make. And then another 30 yeah. cents for the bag. Another 10 cents for the bag. For the bag. Well, joke's on All me. Right. I'm the one who bought it. <laughs> <laughs> With that, let's move on to Dick's Gadget Warehouse. They're geeky and they're goofy. Together they are loopy. When gadgets pass away, he takes them out to play. In Dick's Gadget Warehouse. Oh, Captain J said version two will be the foldable no phone. Oh my gosh. Yeah. How much did you pay now? Apparently, um, you can okay, buy our, a non working dummy replica phone for $4. It looks <laughs> way better than the one I just bought. Look at that. Oh my gosh. That's, that's I was thinking better. you could just buy a, uh, a crappy phone case and carry that around. Yeah. Who's going to know there's no phone in it? Oh, my. Way better. Oh, that looks good. I got had. Anyway. Uh, <laughs> our viewer video uh, came from Tom Wynn. Uh, hi, I love the show. Been watching. Wow. Tom, thank you. Been watching since wow. the first episode. I like your casino. Oh, my God. By the way, I forgot. This is episode 200. This is episode 200 of Independent. Of Independence. <laughs> Or, let me see, Tom, you've been watching, uh, let me see how many episodes you've been uh, watching. 1,718. 17, 17, this is episode 17, uh, 1,718. 1, yeah. Uh, started in 2006, February. Oh, holy moly. Um, Thank so you, So I love your show, watching since the first episode. My gadget is a follow-up to the video of the Palm Pilot that someone sent in a couple of weeks ago. Uh, his is the HP Dronada 540 Windows CE device. Whoa. And so here's Tom's video. Hi, Dick. Hi, Chad. I saw the episode about the Palm Pilot, and I thought I'd follow that up with the HP Jornada 540. It's a PDA 
it runs Windows CE. Oh, has oh, a color Windows screen. CE. Has a lot of the Windows pro functions, just like a PC does, but it's all on a small platform. Has a stylus input where I can draw on the screen, or I can switch to keyboard mode. That's a little cumbersome, so found this other little gadget, little attachment. Want an easier way to type? Wow! This lay it flat. Holy! Oh wow! Connector. Look at that! And then I can take this, mount it on this, and Whoa. now I can type away on the keyboard. You were the coolest person on the airplane so, if you had that. Yeah. Because it requires Active Sync and some CD driver software, which I can't find and probably will never use. Also, it comes with a whole whopping memory card in here that you can pop out the back, and it has a whopping 64 megabytes of RAM. So you can store a lot of stuff on there, I guess. <laughs> Three That's photos. That's my gadget. Wow, that is pretty that incredible. That is pretty neat. That Targus keyboard at the time was uh, incredible. Oh my that gosh. you had almost a full size keyboard, and then the uh, Dronada would click right into it. I like those keys uh, too. That those look like solid typers. Oh my gosh! That looks yeah. Awesome. Uh, so Tom, you—I uh, assume you live in the U.S. You'll get uh, the current issue of Mad. You'll get a thirty-eight now thirty-eight year old Alfred E. Newman picture, and I think that's the last video we have from a person who's never submitted before. So if you have any gadget in your house, new or old, a two to three minute video, uh, Tom's is absolutely perfect. We can see the gadget hear him perfectly horizontal plane. Uh, just do the video on your phone or whatever, upload it to YouTube. You can click, uh, unlisted if you only want people with the URL to see it and send us that URL and it goes to mail at gizwiz.tv and if you live outside the US um, and submit a video uh, we're showing 99% of everything we get uh, I will autograph an Alfred E. Newman picture to you scan it in high res email you the image to print out at your end so no matter where you live if you hang on the wall no one will know it was printed <laughs> wherever you are uh, so get those um uh, warehouse videos in mail at gizwiz.tv love it love it uh with that let's move on to the letter Uh, our letter is from Life Straw. Uh, hi, guys. We saw the episode uh, containing gadgets from the International Housewares Media Preview. Uh, we didn't realize, uh, I'm sort of paraphrasing as we go because it's so long ago. They didn't realize um, that there was going to be a lag between the time when we shot the video till we, we showed it. Otherwise, they would have told us that the picture was going to uh, kick off on Kickstarter. Okay. So we have no, that's no problem. Yeah. Uh, but uh, re regarding pricing and, and I didn't know this, but it's very good to know. Uh, it's worth noting life store products contain inset global impact. This must've been written by a lawyer, uh, for, for every product purchased a school child in the developing country receives safe water access uh, uh, safe access to water for an entire school year. Wow. So buyers of products, whether they buy a single product or a three pack, uh, receive the powerful benefit of the filtration product, but they also support a humanitarian effort called Life Straw's <clears throat> Give Back Program. So nice. I, I think that's that's really great. And then finally... They did say that um, 
getting salt out of water is very complicated, okay? I was like, you think if you can get viruses out, you can get salt out? No, you know, I think I was on the Queen Mary 2 doing a thing for ABC, and they took me down below deck and everything. And I had these monster things. Are those the engines? And they said, no, those are the desalination units. Um, so they can take seawater in and, and make fresh water. And I believe the fresh water they made was not even for drinking. I think it was, they were making fresh water for washing and the showers. Oh, wow. So get, getting salt out of water is, uh, is indeed a, a big pro, uh, project. A uh, while Jestick said he wanted to try the life straw on the Hudson river. We discouraged him because the Hudson is brackish, meaning partly salt and the life straw does not function in such an environment. But I think everybody knows that now. Um, so anyway, I think life straw that, that give back program is just an amazing thing. And, and, let me see who sent this to us so we know. Wendy, Wendy, I'm, I'm going to spell your last name, Wendy, or I'll murder it. A G U D E L O. A Judello. Okay, Wendy, director at Life Straw. So, Wendy, thank you. Love and it. Thanks, th thanks for watching this spot. And thanks for telling us that is a super thing you guys are doing. Yeah, totally. And I think the Life Straw is the perfect little companion for like backpackers. And oh my gosh! Or to have an emergency, emergency. Yeah, exactly. Uh, like you know, if you live in an area where there's disasters and you have to drink from a puddle or something, yeah, totally. Uh, it's it's perfect. Perfect. Totally. Love it. And you buy one, you uh, supply clean water it. for a whole school year, which is amazing for a person. It's great. You know, Dick. You know what else is amazing? What is that? Our patrons over at Patreon. Oh my gosh. We owe 200 shows 200 to them. episodes to them. So thank you so, so, so much for your support. If you are a patron or have ever donated or given back, tipped us in any way, thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, if you want to support the show, the easiest way to is at Patreon. Patreon.com slash gizwiz. Over there we have, right now, 237 patrons. Uh, that's pretty awesome. That's pretty incredible. Um, and uh, by the way, I, we think that uh, February may not have been charged. So if you get two charges in uh, March, that's why. Um, but big thank you to our patrons over at patreon.com slash gizwiz. If you like the show, you can support. Uh, just uh, head on over there. Or if Patreon's not your deal and you want to give well, one time or just through PayPal, you can head on over to our website, gizwiz.tv. And click the Patreon tab, and there's a PayPal link there. Big thank you. Once again, huge shout out to everybody who has supported uh, over the, gosh, what is this now? Three, uh, four 200 years? episodes is roughly four years. Yeah, four years. Holy cow. Uh, Holy it's cow. unbelievable. Incredible. And you know, so we're, we're, you. we're only asking, we always say, it sounds like a joke, but it's not. It's just so we lose less money right. than, okay, we certainly don't make any money doing this. But no. we'll lose less if you want to support the show. It means that we can, yeah, do it for longer if <laughs> we lose less. It <laughs> yeah. be awesome. Uh, thank you guys so much for supporting the show uh, over on Patreon and wherever you guys support the show, really. Uh, you can catch previous episodes, gizwiz.tv, or watch live just about every Thursday. Obviously, there's a schedule change this week, but uh, we should be good moving forward. Uh, famous last words, always. Uh, 4.30 <laughs> Pacific Time, 7.30 Eastern Time on Thursdays is when we record the show live for you. Or you can catch previous episodes at gizwiz.tv. Head on over to gizwiz.biz, completely different website. That's Dickie D's website where he writes up incredible articles about each of the gadgets that we cover in detail with links uh, to get them. And while you're over there, play What the Heck Is It? This is the gadget, the whole gadget, nothing but the gadget. Uh, and this is uh, obvious uh, to me, this is a flip-flop for someone who doesn't have toes. Uh, that's definitely what it is. If you think you know what it is, get a guessin'. Over at gizwiz.biz, there are six mad magazines for correct answers, 12 mad magazines for funny, clever, hilarious, or interesting answers, so get a guessin' over at gizwiz.biz. That about wraps it up for our show. We'll see you next week. I'll be here. <laughs>